Leon, congratulations on a incredible win. Yeah, toe to toe war. It was only a couple of weeks ago we were doing and throwing as to whether you were going to get this moment yep. in the UK, that hometown moment. And let me just say that stare down at the end of round one, that, that was an all time moment. That was incredible. <laughs> what was going through your mind at that moment? I loved every minute of it. <clears throat> when we squared up, it was like, boom, yes, let's go. This kid's here for war. I knew it was going to be like that. Um, I seen it in him, yes, from, from the Wayans. <clears throat> it's like I was looking at a younger me. Um, was both there to fight, both there for war, and I was up for it, man. I loved it. I loved every second of it. We've talked about that emotional journey, you know, the, the constant backtracks that you've had, not due to your own circumstances, just through life happening to you. Yeah. Um, have you had that emotional release now after having that victory? Because it has been a long road to even just get into this moment now, hasn't it? That's what I needed, man. That's what I needed, and that's what's going to build me to be a champion, things like that. Coming back from a year off, a hard year, I had to get through a lot mentally by myself, um, get past a lot of things, and then to come back to a solid fight like that, overcome against a 12-0 and fighter, champion, um, it just shows what I've got in myself. Listen, I know I'm 100 times better than that, and I have to show it, though. And the better the opponent, the better I get. And I know my next fight, my next performance is going to be slick, clean. Obviously, you mentioned it can be a lonely road sometimes, yeah. but the electricity of that crowd in there, specifically for your performance, mm. that must have validated all the hard work you've been putting in over the years. And you are a role model at Manchester Top Team as well, aren't you, for the, for the young guys? Um, like the Callum Connors, like the Lewis McGrillins as well. Yeah, of course, man, and that just shows them. They, they, they probably watched that fight and thought, I'm, I'm a lot better than that, but it shows sometimes you just have to dig deep, get dirty and get, get through the fight in it, win the fight, and that's what I had to do today. What's next for you? You know, we talked about um, the championship fight coming later in the year, Volkanovski, Yaya Rodriguez, you want to be breaking into that top 15, but there was also the Nathaniel Wood fight as well. Where's Nathaniel Wood? Is he under here? Because he's running from me, bro. But listen, the next UK card in July or whenever it is, if I don't get a number next to my name, give me Nathaniel Wood and I'll break Nathaniel Wood. That, that would be an amazing build-up, wouldn't it? it? It's kind of blown up out of nowhere, hasn't it? That mm -hmm. rivalry, because obviously he's had an injury, but he was ready and you feel that you would have fought through that injury to get to the fight. Yeah. Um, regardless of the top 15, the ranking status, mm -hmm. do you feel that that's a fight that has to happen just for bragging rights sort of thing now? Mm, I wouldn't say bragging rights, but I'm a fighter. He's a fighter. He thinks he's better than me. I know I'm better than him. So let's let's put on a show for the fans. I'm sure the fans would love to see that in the UK. Main card, co-main, whatever you want to want to do. But look, I'm 5-0 in the UFC, basically. And I believe I deserve a t my shot now. I just put on a good fight against a tough, undefeated kid on short notice, southpaw. Like, I had no time to drill, nothing. There's nothing to make any excuses, but I accepted the fight. 10 and 0, took him out. Well done, congratulations on getting Thank that you. moment. Thank you. Lerone, how you doing, mate? Okay. Um, first of all, yeah, Gutty didn't get to see you fight Nathaniel. That's mm -hmm. one we were all looking forward to. I've known Nathaniel for a while as well, and I knew yep. that would have been such a great fight. Yep. So, but again, what a great fight you had. You know, Mike, how do you feel? Obviously, you've gone three hard rounds, you know, with someone. How important is that for your career to actually have, one, had the short notice against a completely yep. different style of fighter and, you know, have the fight you did? How important is that for you going forward? It's all experience, man. Experience banked to take a fight like that on short notice and then go three rounds. I needed the three rounds. Like, um, I knocked Mayor Carney out second round last time, started the second round, so I only got a round there. Um, I'm young in my career, man. I've had what 13 fights, 13 fights in in eight or nine years or whatever it is. So it's good to get the experience, man. And um, all these top guys, these top 15 guys, they're like 20, 30 pro fights into the career. So yeah, man, I, I like to get the three rounds in. And um, the other question is, it seems like a lifetime ago. I remember watching you on FCC, man, mm. on the, U the UK circuit. It seems mm -hmm. like a lifetime ago since we were there. And um, does, it, does that show that you don't need to go through some massive organisation to get into the UFC? Yeah, of course, man. It's just about your performances. I, I was KOing people for joke them times. And it's like, come up, um, come up, got to the UFC. So, yeah, you, you can go anyway, but just make sure you're fighting good comp com competition, innit? And last one for me, um, what are you going to spend your 50 grand on? Uh, to me, I want to I wanna buy a house for my mum. That's been my goal from the get-go. That's what I want to do, buy a house for my mum. Um, so Dana, send that 50 Gs, bro. That's a deposit right there, <laughs> man.
Uh, congratulations, mate, and I hope we get that fight with Nathaniel. I know he, he was just a knee injury, I think he got a deep laceration in his knee, so yeah. hopefully that won't take too long. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Cool. Front right here. Uh, you spent about three minutes on your back in that final frame. How, how close were you to being in danger in that position? Nah, well drilled there, man. I was calm. I was calm. He's, he's a black belt or whatever he is, brown belt, black belt. I was calm there, man. was drilled, me and my, me and my friend Jordan. <clears throat> Coaches went over a few bits. And like I said, it was a short notice fight. We knew he was good on the back. We had a week to just drill. But I'm ready for them positions anyway, man. I'm well, well drilled. Well, I know you said it was like it was like southpaw, last minute opponent, everything. Was he mm -hmm. tougher than you had expected, in there, given his experience level? Do you know what? He had a he had a weird timing. It's like he's pulling me in, pulling me in, and countering, countering. Um, what happened? Looks like, he, looks like he just got back up. Oh, um, yeah, man. Sorry. Um, what did you say again? Sorry. Oh, was he tougher than you expected? Yeah, he was tough, man. He was game, man. He was tough. Um, from his last two fights, he's finished his last two opponents, which were good opponents as well. So I knew he was going to be tough. In hindsight, is fighting these young, like, undefeated guys, is that the more dangerous fight than, say, fighting the top 15 guys? Because he's trying to make a name off you, and he doesn't really have anything to lose in there. Like I said, it was like a fight in a younger version of me. That was me in 2019 against Tucker Golf. Nothing to lose. Just get in there, have it, give it, give it your all. That was like a younger me, man. It's like, yeah, it's dangerous because you've got to think about it like this as well. He's 10 and all, champion in another organisation. You could put him against probably 10, number 10 to 15, and he'll give him just a tough fight, just like that. It doesn't really matter about numbers. It's about the experience and stuff. And final one for me, uh, when they read split decision, how confident were you that the judges would give it your favor? It was close, man. I knew it was close, but I thought I took the first round and it was all on the third, and I felt, I felt like I landed the cleaner shots in the third. Um, the takedowns, I didn't do nothing with them, really. So, yeah, it was my fight. Lorraine, just over here. He, uh, he got up on the cage at that point, were you a little bit worried? Nah, he told me to come with him, but then I thought, fuck that. I'm not, why am I celebrating you? I need to put my hands up and, and make the judges think I won it. So, yeah. And you've always fought in Abu Dhabi with the UFC. Mm. So, coming to, to fight here in London, how special was that for you? Very special, man. Very special. And I hope we come back here in July. I want to do it again, a um, bit further up the card. Um, yeah. And with Nathaniel Wood, you know, if, if you do end up making that fight for next year, how do you think that goes down against him? Obviously, you didn't get to do it. For this year. This year It'll sorry. be this year, yeah. Um, it'll be a good fight, man. I respect Nathaniel's skills, but I feel like I'm better. I feel like I'm a lot better. But to be fair, I feel like everything happens for a reason, and I needed that kind of fight to get in there. I needed that fight after so long off now, and I'll make it a look a lot cleaner, a lot, lot simpler with Nathaniel. Thank you. And how, how active do you want to be this year? Obviously, you want to come back in July. You've yep. had such a long time off. So how active do you want to be this year? I've always wanted to be active. And, and like I said, life circumstances, things happen in life have held me back. I want to have three, four fights this year, God willing. Um, stay healthy. I'm in the gym all year round anyway. So we want to get active, man. It's time. It's, t it's my time. Thank you. Thank all right, you. Just see you all right. Yep. See you all left. Sorry. Um, so, I don't know if you've seen on Twitter after the fight, Nathaniel's um, tweeted something out. Have you seen what he said? No, what did he say? So, he, he's of the opinion that the judges gave you that, that fight. What's your, your thoughts on that? Nathaniel Wood can fuck off. Sorry for my language, but he can, he's not here. Where is he? He booked the fight and, and pulled out four weeks ago. Why is he tweeting about me? Tell him to come and fight with him and make the fight. Don't pull out. Laron, <coughs> over here to your right. Yeah. Um, just wanted to ask you uh, about someone. Uh, Dominic Cruz has been talking about you all week in a lot of interviews, talking about how talented you are and how he's uh, brought you into camp to help him train. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you, how good is he and how much has he helped you whenever you've got the opportunity to spar and train with him? Yeah, Dom's top of the world, man. He's, he's been champion, greatest ban bantamweight of all time, in my opinion. And even just mentally, just, just hearing some of the things he says, the way he breaks down your feelings and stuff like that. Like, because we had to, we've had a lot of talks about um, just even the nerves before a fight and stuff like that. We all, every fighter goes through it. Do you get what I'm saying? It's just, it's just good the way he breaks down some of the things, and it's just like, <clears throat> just. I, he's basically saying I need to believe in myself because my ability in the gym, I'm not transferring it. I don't believe in transferring it. And it's going to come. I just need the repetition, repetition, the fights. And it's good to get them three rounds there. And I feel like next, next fight, I'm going to show my true potential. Um, how are you celebrating your win? Food. 
Nothing but food, man. What, prawns, salmon, <clears throat> seafood? Do you think you want to shout out a name in the top 10 to 15 at all? <clears throat> Anybody from between 10 to 15. Cassiris would be a good fight. He's number 15. Um, I don't even know who else is, is there. Any of them. Congratulations. Thank you. Good. Thank you.